Hi, hello, welcome to Maths Guru channel. In this video, I am going to explain exercise 12.3 third question. See here, third question is, if two circles intersect at two points, then prove that their centers lie on the perpendicular bisector of the common curd. Right? Now, we need to prove that. Now, here, see. Here, two circles. See. Let two circles with center P and Q intersect at two distinct points, say A and B. Okay. See. Once you can take the compass, set any radius. Set You can set any radius. With that same radius, draw two circles. Okay. Draw two circles. The two circles which is intersect at two points. Okay. Two circles P and Q. P and Q are the centers of the circles. And these circles intersected two points A and B. Two distinct points A, A and B. Okay. Now join AB to form the common curd. Now after getting this com um, intersecting points. Now join through center O. Okay, join A and B like this. You can join. Okay, after joining, now it will it will get a common code of circle. This right side circle with the center Q. So A B is the chord. See the center Q. The here A B is the chord of this circle which is having center Q. Right. In the similar way. The circle which is having center P for this circle also AB is the chord. So this AB is the common chord for two circles. Right. Now AB. So common chord AB. Now let O be the midpoint of AB. O be the midpoint of AB. Yes or no? Now join O with P and Q. Just uh, you can join this O through O, P and Q. Join P and Q. Okay. Next. You can join AP and AQ, PB and BQ. Okay. After joining, now you will get one triangle here. So, AOP and BOP are two triangles. See see it properly this is one triangle and this is one triangle right aop and bop are two triangles see aop and bpo or bop are the two triangles now in this triangles say ap is equal to bp ap is equals to bp okay why because this is the radius radius pb is the radius of circle with this circle which is having center P and PA is the one more radius of the same circle. So we can call these two are radii. Okay. So radii of this circle with center P. Now we can write AP is equal to BP. Okay. See here I wrote AP is equal to BP radii. Now PO is equals to PO. PO is equals to PO. This is the circle center o see circle o here op is equal to op why because for this triangle and for this triangle this is the common side so common side after that ao is equals to bo why because why because o is the midpoint of ab o is the midpoint of ab so whatever distance is there same distance it will be okay now see AP is equal to BP radii. PO is equal to PO common side of two triangles. Now AO is equal to PO. Why? Because O is the midpoint. So here this is the side. This is the side. This is the side. Yes or no? Now triangle APO is congruent to triangle BPO. By using triple S congruency. Yes or no? Also AOP is equal to angle BOP. Why? Because if these two are congruent triangles by CPCT rule, congruent parts of sorry, corresponding parts of congruent triangles. 
but this are linear pair also angle aop plus angle bop is equals to 180 degrees means each 90 degrees okay now similar way similarly here also right side also triangle in triangle aoq and in triangle boq in these two triangles similar way what we wrote here same process here also now aq is equal to bq why because radii of this circle okay next to oq is equal to oq why because that is the that is the common side of this triangle and this triangle next here AO is equal to BO. Why? Because O is the midpoint. O is the midpoint. Now, based on the same congruency, triple S congruency, we can say that triangle AOQ and triangle BOQ are the congruent triangles. Now, angle AOQ, angle AOQ, angle BOQ are equal by CPCT rule okay now see here that only what what i explained in the figure same similarly these two triangles aq bq avo is equal to bo oq is equal to oq common side so this is the radius this is the midpoint so based on these three sides so by using triple s congruency these two congruent these two triangles are congruent okay also AOQ angle AOQ is equal to angle BOQ why because by CPCT rule okay if two triangles are congruent by CPCT rule we can take this one okay next also triangle angle AOQ this is a linear pair means each 90 degrees okay each 90 degrees now if it is a linear pair now PQ is a line if that is the, those are two are linear pair then this is a pq is a line now pq is a line okay now whenever pq is a line now we can say that here see whenever pq is a line then we can say that their centers lie on the perpendicular bisector of the common chord their centers lie on the c if it is PQ is a line, their center lie on common chord AB. Their center, this only no O, lie on the common chord AB. Okay. I hope you understood. See. Once take the screenshot, afterwards you can able to write. Right. In your notebook. Okay. For more videos, subscribe my channel, support me. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye.